Hi everyone, Rochelle Rolino here again. Uh, to finish our front view male manga character. So, we did the eyes, we mapped out the face. Now we can start putting in the nose, the mouth, and the ears. So let's start out with the nose. Right here where the bottom of the circle is and this line is, that's where the nose usually goes. And in this case, it's a triangle. Because of this character, that's the way his nose is because he's kind of a cat character. And the ears always go between these two lines here, top of the eye to the bottom. And the way you can do that take it out a little bit and kind of like that okay take it take it out again so the top of this line is top of your ear bring it in and you might have to adjust this side I always have to adjust a little bit more because you usually favor one side more than the other all right then we're gonna Put that in and kind of do that. Do a little erasing here. Okay. Just that. All right. There's our ear. I'm going to make that a little darker so you can see it. this a little darker as well because I want you to be able to see it. All right, now the mouth is going to be right about here. So it's kind of halfway in between. And I'm going to just put a little, we don't want him too happy. He's kind of a ser serious right now, thinking about his next ninja move. See, he is a ninja. And male's lips are a little more masculine, so we don't want to add too much. Uh, I think I'm going to make that lip a little bit smaller. You know, I'm going to move this up just a slight bit. It could have stayed down there, but I know how Naruto looks, and, it, and I think it would be better up just a little bit. For now, we can go with this. Okay. Now, we could, if we wanted to, we can start to erase some of these guidelines. We don't need them anymore. So we're going to clean up the face a little bit by removing these guidelines. And if you look right now, we could just leave it. It could be a bald person. There's a character, I don't remember the name, but. Uh, But you could do that if you wanted to. Now we got to figure out where our part's going to be, which I think our part's going to be about right there. And you can start to chunk your hair out. Now it's got to go above the head. And I'm losing some of my uh, lead here. Hope it will cooperate with me for a while. So you're just doing pieces of hair right now. Oh, you know what I forgot? He has a headband, so let's get that on there first. There we go. 
Now we're going to work the hair around the headband and the part. You don't want to always go all the way up here either. When you're when you're chunking it out, you know, make sure that you leave space on top. And eventually you're erasing that headline. Keeping the hair not too puffy, not too, you don't want it too straight either. And this part here is going to go over. Give me one minute to get my lead working again. Here we go. It's not always going to look the same because each time I'm drawing something different. Okay. Because we aren't machines, right? So my neuro, my my character might look a little bit different this time. But it's going to be similar. All right, the bottom part here is going to have hair that comes out from the ear and from the neck. A couple pieces, one there, one there. One there, one there. You can adjust any time. Here behind the ear. Maybe another piece here. Then you can take your eraser and start to erase uh, where the hair goes over the band. You want to erase that band. And you want to erase any place where you see the headline, meaning the top of the head, the line that that created. And you want to clean up the hair a little bit. That's why you draw so light in the beginning, too. Um, now you can go back and get your hair in more darkly. Darkly, I don't know if that's a word. More dark and not so sketchy, but you're doing your dr actual drawing now. Uh, let's see, just going over the ear here, so I'm going to erase this part. And you can have this just go behind the ear or over a little bit if you want. I think I'm going to do that. All right, we're almost done. You can add, you can clean up the face, add the cat lines because he's, he has those. I think he has a line right here too. And then to do the the, ja the jacket he's wearing, or the ninja jacket, what I will do is put a line down the middle, a V up, and then what you can do once you're up here is make a triangle down, and from there go out. He's and then add this here for the neckline. And there's Naruto. Now I did make these eyes a little bit smaller on purpose. But there's your Naruto character. And 
I really hope you enjoyed this exercise. Keep practicing, boys and girls, and adults, parents, cousins, aunts, uncles, whoever's doing this, keep practicing because the more you practice, the better you get, like with anything. Um, I've enjoyed teaching this. See you soon.